Hello and welcome to episode 65 of Rebrand Everything. You can probably tell from the title that there's something different about this video today and that is because I am designing a logo for my new YouTube channel. Sounds a little bit weird I know but I will explain everything in this video so let's get into it. Okay then, so when making these YouTube videos for the Rebrand Everything channel, there's actually quite a lot more that goes into the creation of the video than actually gets shown in the final video. This means that when making these videos, I kind of get other ideas for different types of YouTube videos, but I don't feel like they would fit well under the Rebrand Everything channel. So the kind of videos that I'm thinking of uploading are stuff like design tutorials, like if I just want to do a random web page, a random brochure, a random flyer, something like that. Logo animation techniques and little tips and tricks that I learned along the way in After Effects, Apple Motion, stuff like that, and video editing in Final Cut Pro, and just general kind of other creative pursuits, I guess. So kind of like just the camera setup that I'm working on now, the microphone setup, all this stuff people find interesting when you start talking to them about it. So to create videos about that, I think it will just be good and interesting for other designers. Maybe you're a designer, start thinking about starting a YouTube channel where I've got a pretty good setup here that I can explain to other people and basically help them out. It might not fit perfectly under rebrand everything, but this is where I'd put it on the new channel. I'm not stopping this channel. This is like in addition to rebrand everything, create everything is kind of born from rebrand everything. This channel's not dying. Don't unsubscribe. I'll still be uploading here as often as I can. I know in the past I've done like redesigning subscriber logos on this channel, but I feel like that just about fits into the kind of um, realm of rebranding other people's logos and rebranding famous logos. It kind of fits together nicely. Whereas some of the, uh, some of the other stuff that I think about, it kind of just feels like it's going to be a little bit of a stretch to put in under the rebrand everything umbrella without alienating some of the subscribers who are just there to see big famous logos get updated. So anyway, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for some time and I've had this sketch pad open in Procreate on my iPad for a long time. And the good thing about Procreate is that it creates a video of everything you like draw on the page. So what I've ended up with is like a time lapse of the sketches of my complete thought process from naming right through to like sketching out the ideas for the logos. Um, so yeah, let's get into showing you that now. So then this sketchbook, so obviously the name was a huge part of the new channel concept. So at the time of making this video right now, I have around 5,432 subscribers. So it seems like a good idea for the new channel to have some sort of connection to my already established channel. So the next challenge was to think of a name that encompasses a wider range of creative pursuits whilst trying to link the two channels in some way, perhaps, not necessarily, just perhaps. I wrote down a lot of different names as you can see here and a lot of them got shot around straight away when I searched for the new name on YouTube. I kind of think, oh yeah, that one sounds all right. I'll like just see if anybody else has got it. And quite often somebody had already made an account with that name and I just didn't want to like step on anyone's toes. I didn't want to like cause any drama or go like all in on a name and then have to change it in three months time because somebody else has like got it and already, you know, had it before me. For a while I was pretty set on everything creative media as the name and I had this vision of putting it in all capital letters kind of like how Facebook did last year when they have that like company Facebook logo the one that's in all caps and they use that as like the umbrella brand for the rest of their products. I had a vision of kind of having the word everything in all caps like kind of like a serious font, serious looking font with creative media underneath. But then as it developed, I thought that the name was too long and it just kind of didn't sound too catchy like everything creative media. It's kind of, it all just sounds like kind of filler words instead of anything sort of definite. So then after a lot more sketching and development than you can see here, I finally settled on the name Create Everything, which I was most happy with. I'm breaking that down. The word create is a lot more open to interpretation than the word design and the word everything is expanding on the concept that this channel is going to contain more than one type of video and it also keeps that sweet link to my existing channel obviously it's called rebrand everything the one you're watching right now so from this point there was nothing left to do but get into illustrator and start drawing out some of these ideas and turn them into real world real life logos if you are liking the look of this video so far, please don't forget to press like. It's completely free for you to do. It takes less than a second and also it really helps the channel out. Basically, it tells YouTube like, yeah, this person watching this video, they're enjoying this video enough to actually press a thumbs up. Um, and yeah, basically it will show it to more creatives like us.
So for option one, I wanted to start by adapting my existing branding to accommodate this new word. This obviously meant updating my little icon to say CE instead of RE, and also obviously adapting the word mark too. Playing around with the icon was a bit of a funny one, because the shape difference between C and the R, the logo just looked really bad when I straight swapped out the letters in the same style. So then I tried quite a few different things to keep this under control without the C starting to look like a G, because obviously where I'm extending that crossbar from the E across it kind of looking like the arm of a G, um, obviously not what we want. I also dropped the blue and I swapped this for like black and grey and the reason for this was to give a clearer distinction between the two channels and I think a grayscale or black and white palette looks cool and better fits the vision that I have for the new channel. So the icon that I settled on in the end looks a little bit like a super wide E, but then the rounding on the left kind of makes it a C shape as well, so a little bit of double meaning there, and it kind of fits with the rebrand everything logo as well. The benefit of taking this approach is that there is some brand consistency between the two channels, and also font check for this option, same font as I use for all my branding, Avenir Next Bold. Yeah. So one of my main goals for this whole project is making sure that my YouTube avatar looks really good. Um, you know, the little circle box next to the channel name. Just really want to make sure I create something like tailored for that. This means for option two, I started by creating a super powerful icon that would look good even down at small sizes. Using a fixed stroke on a rectangle, I created this boxy C and then created a strong capital E inside, making sure that the rounded corners lined up nicely so it was satisfying to look at. I then paired this up with a quirky all caps font and then created a stacked version with the icon at 45 degrees just so it looks nice and dramatic and interesting. A font check for this one is called Liquor Store and that's an Adobe font. Three. So one of the key elements of my current branding is the light blue dot or full stop that I use at the end of logo and text. So for option three, I wanted to try expanding on this to give Create Everything a fresh look that still retains a visual link to rebrand everything. Like I said earlier, I need to make sure that this was going to work as a YouTube avatar, so I worked on creating a circular version of the logo as well as the main horizontal version. The outcome of this is a nice and simple word mark, nothing too over the top, simply because it doesn't need to be. And the font check for this option is circular. Four. So for option four, I had this idea of creating like an isometric box type logo that also works as an upwards arrow containing the channel's initials. I worked on this icon which I thought looked pretty cool because it's kind of like an optical illusion. Like depending on how you look at it changes whether it looks like you're looking down into a box below you or looking up into a box in the sky. Um, hard to explain but just keep looking at the logo, keep looking at what I've made here and you'll hopefully see what I mean. I paired this up with a hard looking industrial style font which really fitted the sharp style of my icon. I tried to make the centre of my icon align with the V in everything but I couldn't get it to work how I wanted. So I decided to break the icon from the text and use them as separate elements. The way that I could see this working is that my avatar would be the icon and then when you click through to the channel the artwork at the top, the header graphic there would be the word mark. The font check for this one, this font is just called video and again that's an Adobe font. Five. 
So whilst developing the other options, I had this random idea to combine my icon from number two with my word mark from option four. They were just two things that I kind of liked throughout the process. When I put the two ideas together, I thought it had a nice vibe, but then I noticed that the text was really sharp whilst the icon was kind of rounded and more mellow feeling. Looking at ways to bridge this style gap, I tried sharpening up the icon, but it just looked unpolished, so I outlined the text and rounded the corners of most parts of the text just slightly. That just takes some of the sting out of the hard edges. I also felt like the icon sitting on top of the text just didn't look quite right, and I think again, the same as option 4, that was down to the fact that the logo looked like it wanted to be sat perfectly centred to the V, um, because we've got that 45 degree angle on the icon, and then we've got the V underneath, but just offset, it kind of was just making this weird visual stress. Um, yeah, and I couldn't get that to work, so then what I ended up doing was putting the icon on the left, and I thought that did look good, but then I'm super conscious that I've made an extra wide logo that might have trouble squeezing into small spaces. Font check for this one again is video, same as option 4, and that's an Adobe font. Okay then, so there are the five new options for the new channel Create Everything. But which one did I pick to use? Well, there is only one way for you to find out and that is by heading over to the channel now and checking out the brand reveal video that I've made. But just before you go and do that, write in the comments below this video what option you prefer and which option you think I've chosen. Okay then, see you on the new channel.